Okay, moving right along with the dreams. We're still <clears throat> on November 9th. So there was a lot of dreams recorded on November 9th. I got an idea of a yellow and green car. Idea of a chair. So a yellow car and a green car. Two different cars. Idea of a chair in a street, like an easy chair just thrown into a street. For some reason, maybe I think it's important that this is, there's a mere Betrick commercial on TV. Okay, so then I get, um, I don't know if there it is or not. At 5.37 a.m., things popping up like Facebook Messenger messages. One says historical munitions. YouTube video possibly linked to this says Marineville, Oroville. Oroville is a city in California near Chico. I don't know why it says Marineville. There is a marine supply store in Oroville. Um, munitions. Is this literal munitions or is this sort of the revenge porn stuff? They like, you know, or whatever, you know, or dirt that they think they've collected on me or I don't know. Um, and then... At this time, I was engaged in sort of a several-day Facebook exchange with my brother that really was shocking to me, the kind of stuff that he was saying to me. Not only the stuff that he was saying to me, but the way that he was reflecting me back to myself was shocking. Shocking. Uh, almost like, is this my brother? And um, I'm still processing that. I think I sort of have referred to it in the last couple of videos without actually getting into it too deep because... Um, you know, to really sort of dissect it would, would be triggering at this point, and I'm just going to have to probably take it in small bites, the kind of information. I mean, it was good, I guess, that I got this information about the way that I'm being portrayed, because I have a feeling one of the things that's going on is there's a very serious false profile being worked up about me, and my brother seems to be part of this. My brother. And, um... In the past, my brother has seemed to be relatively supportive of me. Um, relatively. But I now think my entire family has basically bet on my death and my daughter's death as well. So this is somehow may be linked to my brother. And that's hard to take. And another thing, too, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna since this is a family thing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna link it to something last night. I didn't remember any dreams from last night, but for some reason, when I got online and I saw Kanye West had put it out an album, and I realized that there was something with Kanye West in my dream. So Kanye West. Um, appeared in my dream and it seems like I told him that I always liked him or I liked his stuff or something like that. I think, I do think, um, Kanye is pretty genius. I really do. Um, I don't know that people can't figure him out or that they're just trying not to see what he's trying to communicate. But, um, so apparently, you know, so this this caught my attention. So he's put out an album. I haven't listened to the album or anything like that. The album is called Jesus is King. And so there's this, you know, intriguing headline where he's talking about, I might change my name to Christian genius billionaire Kanye West. Um, and so here he is with his hair bleached out and I think that this is contemporary with what's going on right now I think so why Christian genius billionaire Kanye West um and I sat and thought about it and I realized that I had um oh how much do I, about this do I share um I don't want to overshare about this right now um because what happened was I, I thought isn't there somebody in my family named Christian like maybe one of my cousin's kids, and it turns out that yes, there is. And I wanted to figure out why he might have been making a reference to this person, Christian. 
Um, and what the person who Christian is, is actually the brother to the person. If they kill me and they kill my daughter, and they what the, which is what they want to do, they want to stamp out our family line because we're polluted with brownness. I mean, that's the, that's the given reason. The real reason is they just want to continue the slave system. Um, this definitely does seem to be run by, essentially by Nazis and, you know, Nazis with power. Um, so if they stamp out my family line like they want to do, it's going to default. And I, I'm not 100% convinced that she knows this, but the next person in line for this is going to be my um, cousin, Christy Hansen, because she's the only one with a daughter, I think. So if they kill us off, the next person who's a female heir would be my cousin Christie's daughter. Her brother's name is Christian. Um, so I'm having all these issues with my own brother, like scary, scary, scary responses from my brother to the things that I'm trying to communicate to him about the danger that I and my daughter are in. Um, so I find it interesting that my, you know, the next person in line, her brother's name is Christian. And so then if this really is a reference, okay, what about this right here, this billionaire thing? I think this is the motivation for why they're trying to kill us off. I think they're going to cash in or they think they're going to cash in. Um, so while I was looking for all of this, what did I find? But the obituary of my Aunt Joan. She passed away on August 31st and nobody told me. Now, Aunt Joan, because she's passed away, I'm going to say this now. That I believe she was badly experimented on in mind control programs. And... It talks about how she suffered a long battle with chronic illness. And her, you know, to Christy's credit, um, Christy gave her a kidney because Joan's kidneys were destroyed by lithium, by prescribed medication for one of her chronic illnesses, um, supposed chronic illnesses. Now, I think Joan was entirely made ill by the medical industry. And two of her daughters, she has three daughters, and two of them work in the medical industry. Isn't that interesting? I think that's very interesting. Um, and there's a whole lot I could say if I really wanted to get in, into it, because it's just my mom and Joan. They were the only two children. The father left while my grandmother was pregnant with Joan. So my grandmother was a single mom in the 1940s and 50s and 60s. Um, And the dynamic between my mom and my aunt is very odd, I think, for sisters. Um, it's sort of a um, submission dominance, very strong submission dominance, with my mom being the dominant person. And um, Joan was not a person who advocated for herself or stood up for herself very often, in my perspective. Um, and I think she was essentially a medical, experimented on her entire life, and tortured medically her entire life. Now, I am almost certain that her children would disagree with me. At least her, I don't, I've never really spoken to her youngest daughter, but I think her two older daughters who are in the medical industry, because I've already talked about the torture that I saw that was being done to my grandmother. And my cousin, who's an oncologist, denies, will not, you know, denies that. 